The following breaking news from the National Football League. The Baker Mayfield sweepstakes, if you can call them that, they're over. He's been traded to the Carolina Panthers for a conditional fifth-round pick in 2024. Mayfield was the odd man out in Cleveland after the team acquired Deshaun Watson as their new quarterback. The former Heisman Trophy winner and number one overall pick spent four seasons in Cleveland, leading him to the playoffs in 2020. In Carolina, he joins a quarterback room that right now includes Sam Darnold and Matt Corral. And for more, let's now welcome in fantasy expert Dave Richard. Dave, I guess I'll just start by asking you, Baker Mayfield, to the Carolina Panthers. When you look at that room, so now you've got Sam Darnold, Matt Corral, Baker Mayfield. I mean, who do you think is the best fit for that offense at this point in time? It's Baker Mayfield, and it's by a mile. You're not going to see Sam Darnold take another snap for Carolina again unless Baker Mayfield gets hurt. You don't make a trade like this and agree to pay half of Baker Mayfield's contract if you don't intend to put him on the field. He would have to go to Carolina, Jeremy, and play worse than Sam Darnold did in practice in order for Darnold to get back on the field. I imagine that Darnold won't be a Panther for much longer. Baker's going to be their quarterback, and it's good for all of their targets in, in fantasy land anyway. DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, Christian McCaffrey, maybe even the tight ends too, Ian Thomas and Tommy Tremble. Maybe they could get involved a little bit more in this offense. And quietly, the offensive line in Carolina got a lot better this offseason. That's huge. Baker needs protection up front. Okay, so when you look at a guy like DJ Moore, top 15 wide receiver. Biggest name to talk, well. What does it do for his value? I was about to say he's the biggest name to talk about for fantasy, but Christian McCaffrey's name is kind of bigger. It's in there. But DJ Moore is the one that's making the biggest leap on the draft boards. You're going to see him go from round four to round three because Baker Mayfield's the quarterback. This is a good quarterback for DJ Moore to work with. You've looked at DJ Moore, the body of his work. He's a good receiver, runs good routes, has good hands, can make plays after the catch, but he's just been marred by terrible quarterback play. I could run down the list, but I don't want to make you sick. So I think that Baker Mayfield go in there, even though Baker's track record with wide receivers isn't great. He's had one year where he's had a receiver with over 1,000 yards. There were actually two receivers that did it. It was 2019 in Cleveland. Odell topped 1,000 yards. Yeah. Jarvis Landry had 1,000 yards. Landry had six touchdowns that year. That, that's the most that a receiver's had from Baker Mayfield in a single season. But six touchdowns, I don't know why I put up seven, six touchdowns for DJ Moore would be a career high for him. I think he'd do very well. You got a pencil in for at least 1,100 yards. If he gets 1,100 yards, six touchdowns, probably around 90 to 100 catches along the way. You're talking about a top 15 fantasy receiver. So what about Christian McCaffrey then? I mean, let's mention him. Number three overall, I mean, in terms of the ranking. So when you look at Christian McCaffrey's value, how does Baker Mayfield influence that? It's nice. It's nice that they're going to have a quarterback that defenses are going to actually have to respect because if it was Sam Darnold or Matt Corral, defenses would be like, okay, let's zoom in on Christian McCaffrey and we don't have to worry about the passing game. Now defenses have to worry about the passing game. McCaffrey will have some lanes open. Of course he's going to work in the passing game. And we've seen Baker Mayfield throw to his running backs before. So it's a win for Christian McCaffrey. Is it enough to move him to like the number one spot in fantasy football rankings? No. Everybody still knows what the bugaboo is about Christian McCaffrey. The fact that he is going to be injury prone. He's been labeled that. He's had five separate injuries over the last two seasons. Four of them have been below the waist. Yeah. People are going to be nervous to take him with an early pick. But some fantasy managers, there's going to be at least three or four in every league. They're not going to care about that. They're going to see the upside that Christian McCaffrey has, and they're going to take him as soon as they possibly can. And that could be number one overall. I'm going to be a little bit more patient. I would wait till fifth overall to take McCaffrey. That's not changing because Baker's there. So we talk about McCaffrey and DJ Moore and their, their value with Baker there. What do those guys do for Baker's value? I think it puts Baker on the QB2 radar. Okay. That's really about it. You're never going to see him drafted in a one QB league. No one's going to get excited about him as a backup quarterback. Not when there are so many exciting rookie and second year, well, not really rookie, but second year quarterbacks, third year quarterbacks around the league. But when we're in a super flex league or a two QB league, Baker's going to get picked. He's going to be one of the first, I'll call it 25 quarterbacks off the board in those formats. Okay, so if he's a QB2, if Jacoby Brissett is the guy in Cleveland, Ugh. I mean, what does it do for – forget about Brissett. What does it do for Please. guys like Nick Chubb, uh, Kareem Hunt? I think, it, I think it reverts Cleveland back to being what they've been in the past with Baker, and that's a run-heavy offense. They've got three good running backs there. I think Nick Chubb's awesome. Kareem Hunt's great. Dearness Johnson showed some flash last year. They're going to lean on those three guys and their big offensive line to pave the way. Jacoby Brissett has a strong arm. It's just not an accurate arm, and he's also someone that – doesn't make a lot of big plays. 
the receiving core. It's down to Amari Cooper, who they just acquired. Congrats, Amari. Way to go. And Donovan Peoples-Jones. These are people that fantasy managers will not be excited to draft. I bet their value starts to slide even more with the reality that Jacoby Brissett could be their quarterback. Yeah, I mean, in terms of their value, obviously, it would it would have to be declined from the receiver. Obviously, the running perspective with guys like Great. it's going to be going up, but with those receivers, it's, uh, it, it's going to be going back. With, let me ask you this question. Maybe it's a little crazy. Would you, at this point in a – like a dynasty league, would you look at maybe making a move for a guy like Baker Mayfield at this point as maybe a buy low candidate? Uh, is it a super flex league, a two QB league? It's gonna, it's gonna be like a 18 player leg. Is list. this your league that you're asking about, Jeremy? <laughs> Do you want to know about your 18 team dynasty? Should league? I make a move, Dave? I think if you need a backup quarterback to as maybe a buy get low, you through, as a buy low candidate, I don't, I don't see glorious upside for Baker Mayfield in Carolina. Look, they still have a challenging schedule. They're going to see the Saints and the Bucks twice each this year. And Baker Mayfield, as for all the opportunities they had in Cleveland, he wasn't great with them for fantasy purposes. So I have a hard time believing that Baker's any better than a backup quarterback. I'll, I'll, I'll spin it toward my league. I've got a dynasty league. Joe Burrow's my quarterback. He's my quarterback long term. My backup quarterback right now is Jordan Love. So if something bad were to happen to Joe Burrow, I would look at Baker Mayfield like he's a medium rare bone in rib ice. <laughs> say, get him on my team because I'm desperate for a quarterback. Yeah, I guess you could say that he's he's got very mild, minimal appeal, maybe a seventh round rookie pick in exchange for Baker Mayfield, just to have some security at the quarterback position in a one QB league. But in a two QB league, he's exactly what that is. A QB two, someone who you won't get excited about, but he might be able to deliver. 20 fantasy points six times a year. All right, Dave Richard, our fantasy expert, talking about Baker Mayfield traded to the Carolina Panthers. Uh, boy, oh boy. Dave doesn't see a lot of value there, but, I mean, hey, who knows? It's good for who DJ knows, Moore. Right? It's, good, it's for good for DJ, DJ Moore. Moore. I mean, in Cleveland, we're talking about the running back situation, uh, so it might improve things there. And, of course, uh, they're going to be breaking this down and talking about this on Fantasy Football Today. You can download and follow wherever you get your favorite podcasts. You can also uh, watch the fellas and the pod on YouTube. All right, we're Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.